Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 14th, 2023. Well, today is a CPI day, and well, who knows what's going to happen today. As a matter of fact, I would say kind of anybody's guess what will happen today. There's some conflicting stories out there. Um, some say that the CPI increased a little bit um, in the last month. Uh, some say the CPI has decreased a little bit over the month. So I guess the question is, will we move higher, lower, or go sideways for the day? Other than that, um, if we take a look at European markets this morning, they are mostly higher. Only the FTSE is uh, feeling just a little bit of selling pressure here this morning. Asia markets finished the day mostly bullish overnight with only Hong Kong down just a little bit. That's the, the tech heavy sector um, you know, over there in Hong Kong. And then if we take a look at oil this morning, oil is still moving up today. We had a nice rebound yesterday, but it's just a modest gain so far this morning. Bond yields um, heading into the CPI number are remarkably moving lower. There seems to be a pretty big anticipation here that our CPI will be declining. So. What does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's see if we can kind of shake off our bias, take a look at these charts, and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see, the bulls have been absolutely relentless to the upside. Unfortunately, one of the things that we've also been seeing is that their um, uh, willingness to push is really beginning to decline. Our volume is pushing back just a little bit, but that could change today depending on the data that comes out. Um, if we look at our diamonds here this morning, still trying to push higher. So I had mentioned this level up here would be the next area if we pushed on through. And I still think that's true. Uh, push on up here, we'll test this level. If the bulls can push on through that, well, it'll be really rather remarkable. We could push and then there's a little teeny tiny level right there that might um, serve as some resistance. There's a level right in there that we might want to be watching for. And if uh, those aren't very strong levels, the next major level would be up here in the chart. So if the bulls can really get going here on the CPI number. Now, the other thing may be true here. If the bears were to be inspired by the data today, perhaps a pushback right in here to test this price support. If that fails, then I'm looking for that possibility that we could push back into here. Failing that area right there would probably bring in a little bit of panic. And that would maybe drop us into that gap and maybe work on this big upside gapping candle here in the market. We've left some really big gaps behind here in the diamonds and we can't rule out the possibility if, if the bears do come back that those gaps could be fill, filled. Let's take a look at um, our moving averages here on the chart. Well above our 50 day moving average, holding in here quite bullish. Notice that our 50, the momentum of that 50 moving down, it has crossed down through the 200. So not a big issue here as long as we stay bullish that should turn that 50 right back up if we were to find some bearish reason and come down and break down below that that would be a problem I would look first for a hold of the support right here um, of that 50 and 200 though so watch that close Let's take a look at our spy well our SPY also very very bullish pushing to the upside breaking through this substantial resistance and right on up here into the downtrend. Now we did struggle just a little bit more here in the SPY yesterday because big tech was struggling uh, to, to move on higher, need a little bit of a break after that soaring move on Friday. And as you can see, pushing this um, through this level right here, we just kind of squeaked out 
trying to push through there and this morning we're showing maybe just a little bit of uncertainty um, as well heading into that CPI number. If the bulls can continue to push however pretty decent level of price resistance right there in the chart that we'll want to be watching and beyond that we're starting to get into some of those well very weak areas of of price resistance in the chart but we'll be well above our downtrend here if that is the case and if we take a look at our moving averages well holding above that 50-day moving average so I would suggest if the bears come in and a pushback maybe a test back down into this area which is also um, over here just first off a test down into the top of that support in the chart and then down into here falling into the gap once again I think will create some significant concern here in the market and then if we take a look at our QQQ the old Q is the strongest of the indexes by far. It is kind of remarkable that um, seven uh, companies can have this much impact on all three of these major indexes um, and uh, continue to show that strength of willingness for folks to buy um, no matter the the PE ratios in those um, in those stocks continuing to push up. Now, looking at this, as you saw in this area here, um, I've put that resistance up here. If the bulls can continue to push, well, then look for that resistance to be tested. If that breaks, then there's not much else up here. You can see we've got some resistance right there, and then all-time highs here in the QQQ, um, and that's been virtually um, done by seven companies um, in the NASDAQ. Um, so keep an eye on that. If the bears uh, find inspiration today, well then I'm going to look for a pullback into this support area. And if that were to break, then maybe even pulling back even further down into this level of the chart. So keep an eye on the cues. If um, you'll notice here our moving averages were so stretched away um, you, you just have to imagine this trend is so steep that it's unlikely it can be sustained um, we either pull back or we go into a longer consolidation here eventually so just be prepared for that we cannot keep going straight up forever we'll find a place and i don't know where that place is where we will either get a a pretty strong pullback or a consolidation. Now, keeping in mind, um, we're well above that 50 day, so I would, it'd be tragic if we came all the way back down to the 50 all in one move. Um, maybe back down here to test this support. Um, let's take a look at our IWM. Now, because the Russell includes none of the tech giants, absolutely unimpressed as a matter of fact it's barely moving here in the market the last three days where we've been surging in the other indexes higher IWM's like a oh, whole hum who cares um, without the big tax you can see we're not getting that price movement here so if the bulls can continue to push in here the last three days getting a little bit last two days anyway getting a little bit of bullishness trying to hold on to this area of price support then let's look for that retest up in here to see if we can pop into that um, resistance and then possibly even pushing up into this bigger downtrend if that were uh, to uh, to fail however if those bears find inspiration today maybe a test down here to test that low and if that were to break then I would suggest a very good chance we come back down here and test these lows and by the way if you'll notice that would just create a double bottom or W formation in the chart. Breaking down through that, of course, could be critical. Um, let's take a look at our moving average here. Our moving averages are um, terrible. Um, 50 is well below the 200. 50 is continuing to decline substantially. At least we're starting on the shorter term moving averages to flatten out a little bit. So maybe if we can get some bullish inspiration, we could push back up and, and test you know some of this major area of price resistance here in the chart. Um, if we can find um, some kind of inspiration here for the uh, small caps. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. 
our VIX um, had a little bit of a bounce here yesterday, even though we continued to show bullishness, we showed that bullishness on very light choppy volume and, and that's understandable um, as we head into that CPI report this morning. So keeping an eye on this, we pop back up um, above this little resistance area here in the chart and held it into the close. Again, if the bulls can find that inspiration today to continue to push, let's look for a retest down in here and maybe even a drop on through if the bulls can really get going um, in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration today, then look. let's look for maybe that push back up to test some resistance here up around um, you know 16 handles in the VIX. If we take a quick peek at our uh, T2122, our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And at one point of the day, we saw T2122 because of the Moody's downgrade that we chose to ignore. Um, we were pushing this lower, but by the end of the day, those bulls took over, pushed back up, said, we don't care about no Moody's downgrade. And, um, and we're not worried about a government shutdown. So they pushed back up. Now, having done that, we've placed a little bit of a, a hook up here on the top. And sometimes that can mean um, just that uncertainty here in the market. Um, could give us maybe a little bit more of an edge to push to the downside on the data. But I think with the data today, there's so much uncertainty in it. Um, I think it's it's saying we're trying to hedge our bet here. We just don't know what's going to happen. We want to be bullish, but we're hedging our bet. So if if um, the bulls find inspiration, we certainly have upside room to move. And if the bears find inspiration, we've obviously got downside room to move. So it's kind of like a, a coin toss here, which way um, this may go after that data and however we react to it this morning. If we take a look at our T2108, uh, T2108 did the same thing. Just kind of hedged that bet a little bit. Um, relatively flat on the day here in T2108. Again, an, an example of that the majority of stocks were not moving higher yesterday. Um, a percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average was relatively flat, even though we continue to press up. It's really showing the influence of just a select um, group of stocks um, in the market. Um, if the bears were to find inspiration here today and push down, you want to notice that we've got some support areas in here that could hold us. Um, stronger support down here. If the bulls find inspiration, you'll want to notice that we've got an area of price resistance here to be thinking about. So kind of keep an eye on both of those areas, about 44% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. Our T2107, same thing here. We were just essentially flat on the day, um, kind of hedging our bet here. Now in this one, we're a little bit below some major price resistance in the chart. So if the bulls can get going here, we need to punch through that level and, and break this on higher. If the bears get busy and going, a little bit of support down in here uh, to be watching for if the bears were to engage and push lower. Um, yeah, once again, um, just a little bit flat on the day here, 33, 33.5% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. Um, she really shows the weakness in the largest index we have, and that is the Russell, um, that in, unless there's this the, the Magnificent Seven um, in them, we're not moving. If we take a look at our um, uh, T21, oh, excuse me, T2101. T2101, this was that indication of breadth pulling back yesterday, just continuing to fall, that uncertainty about the data today, and everyone just kind of, you know, chopping around, hedging, hedging themselves a little bit for that potential data that could produce just about anything. If we get a good uh, move today, either bullish or bearishly in the market, we could see this spike back up. Now, a bullish move, obviously that's what uh, most market wants to see here, is that bullish move to the upside, and we would need to see that breadth expanding on that to really um, get some excitement going. 
if the bears were to come in and we see that breadth expand, that would be a little bit of a problem uh, for today. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things to be thinking about. I've been talking about it all morning here. First off, we're gonna start off with our mortgage applications here uh, this morning, watch that closely. Um, they started to show just a modest improvement last week um, because of the decline in um, some of those um, mortgage um, rates. And um, we've got our, uh, excuse me, wrong day, wrong day. That's Wednesday, oh my goodness. Um, NFIB, Small Business Optimism Report, and then the CPI number coming out here at um, 8.30 this morning. Keep a close eye on that, anything is possible. After that, not much going on except some Fed speak in here. And um, we're seeing some of that Fed speak saying, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we may not be done. Um, it, it's probably gonna depend on how these numbers come out. Um, what kind of decision the, the Fed um, makes here. Um, and then keeping in mind, we're going to very quickly, once we get through this, we're gonna be thinking about PPI, and I think retail sales could be one of the bigger numbers here, Empire State Manufacturing, business inventories. So watch those closely here. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar um, has quite a few earnings on it, but not that many notables here for today. So I'm gonna run through those really, really quick. First off, um, Home Depot, Home Depot um, reporting this morning, um, reported beat expectations, but then guided um, caution, um, lower er, saying that they expect sales to be weak, consumers weakening. Um, Inverted head and shoulders here, however, something to pay attention to. You know what, um, uh, because I don't wanna make this video too long, I will not cover all of, all of these today. So make sure you click if you want the full list of um, 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 notables here this morning. Make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. So we're going to hear from On Semiconductor in here today. We're going to hear from um, SBH. Um, they'll be reporting today. VIPS is going to be reporting, and you can see a little bit of a disappointment there apparently in their uh, pre-market um, report, uh, looking lower. Looks like we're going to test this major support level level in VIPS. Uh, we're going to hear from um, ALC. We've got CAE in there. Um, HUYA you know, will also be reporting today, and looks like that's getting a little bit of boost here this morning, holding this nice little upside trend. So, bit of a mix of data coming in here this morning. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you feel like I've earned um, earned it, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I know there's a lot of folks that watch these videos that, that just don't want to respond. And I get it daily, it becomes kind of monotonous and I truly understand that. But um, I really do appreciate the support and the, um, and, and the comments uh, to help the channel to continue to grow. Um, just supporting the effort to put these videos out every day, as you can imagine, it does take quite a bit of time to put all this together. So thank you so much to everyone who does do that. Um, some of the stocks that could be setting up today, remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your due diligence. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Make sure you're following your risk tolerances and your guidelines for trading. Um, it's never wise to just trade somebody else's trade. No, trade your trade. Let's take a look at um, a couple in here that I'm keeping an eye on, TLT. Now, TLT has been one of those that I've been watching, and I honestly, I hold a position in here, so I might be biased, but that position is, is down substantially here. And what I'm looking for is that potential that 
if we are going to turn bullish in the market, we're going to see those bonds bond yields decline and we're going to see bonds being bought up pretty heavily here and i think we have that potential that we could see a massive short squeeze coming in tlt now as you can see we're holding this higher low in here and i've been waiting for this for a while i'm in no rush on this i've just got a small position waiting to um, see if we can uh, make that push to the upside notice that we're sneaking out from underneath that downtrend and trying to hold this higher low in there keep an eye on tlt if you take a look at the us dollar it started up yesterday and then pulled back you can see we're bouncing down here this morning but trying to find some buyers it's really going to depend i think on how that cpi number comes in how this performs and those bond yields uh, perform on the day worries of more inflation could certainly spike these things back up and push that tlt lower so kind of keep that in mind um, if we take a look at some of the other um, stocks in here to be paying attention to take a look at goldman now goldman breaking through um Here's this big wedging pattern that we've had here in Goldman for a long, long time. And we've rallied back up, holding some support levels, breaking back into that area, trying to be bullish here in um, all of our financials, even though there's so much evidence that the banks aren't loaning here in the market and they're really suffering. But we're, we've got all systems go here for the upside. Nice little bullish pattern that possibility that that could pop on through to the upside. Keep an eye on that. Some of these cruise lines, uh, CCL starting to look pretty good coming up in this uh, bullish pattern here, as you can see, breaking the downtrend, sneaking out from under there, looking pretty good. And you can even look at like RCL, RCL really stretching to the upside here recently. I think needs a rest or pullback, but definitely showing lots of bullishness here in the chart. Breaking through this resistance in here, if it can rest up here for a little bit, um, that that would say we've got more upside coming in that. Take a look at um, Airbnb. There's a, um, um, a lot of confidence that this holiday, this um, uh, Thanksgiving, that will be one of the biggest travel days ever. And um, as you can see, Airbnb is trying to come up here as well. Maybe a little bit of a W formation in the chart. Um, holding that W bottom might be worth keeping an eye on that if that can push on through to the upside. Worth uh, paying attention to. Let's take a look at um, Lowe's. Now Lowe's has been holding up in a nice bullish pattern. This is going to report on the 21st. This could be negatively affected or positively affected depending on how Home Depot responds today. But you'll notice here, here in this nice little higher low coming out from under that downtrend uh, could be setting up some nice upside here in lows. Keep an eye on that. Take a look at some of these retailers. Um, they have been doing quite well. Five below ended up pulling back a little bit more yesterday. We might be slipping down underneath that trend here a little bit. So watch that carefully. But my goodness, we've seen so many of these retailers um, move up strongly here recently. They needed a pullback. Um, Kohl's is one that I would stay away from at the moment. This is really broken down, but a rally back into here, I think, sets up the next potential short to push that one on down. If we take a look at stocks like Dollar General, however, holding in there on this nice little platform, um, discount retailers looking pretty good for that upside move and Walmart check out Walmart just ripping to the upside gonna um, hit its earnings report here on the 16th Thursday so keep an eye on that but boy it's just ripping to the upside when you look at some of that that discount retailer out here just looking really good this is all-time highs in Walmart just really pushing to the upside um, watch that one closely you might want to take a look at McDonald's. Um, I mentioned McDonald's yesterday. It did get a little bit of a bump yesterday to the upside. I really like this pattern in here. It's looking very, very bullish, holding support. It's trying to stretch on up and you can see that opportunity that could move on higher. Take a look at Disney. Now, Disney made a big move on its earnings, even though 
Um, it, it came out with a new movie here that is one of the worst openings um, for a superhero movie, I guess. And as you can see, we're pushing into this downtrend here in the chart. Still a little bit uncertain, but if we can hold right in here, you can see the bulls pushed on up yesterday. If we can hold in this area and establish that upside trend, there may be an opportunity. I think it would be better out here, honestly. Give me a little bit nicer trend out here. But right now we're in a relentless bull and everything seems to be a buy. So keep an eye on that. Um, other places here, in the market that I think there is should be some concern on is in the um, oil and gas sector. Um, I think ExxonMobil here is set up for the next opportunity short to the downside. Now remember we got petroleum status numbers coming out on Wednesday but right now this is a major break of support here in the chart and I think we're just setting up that next opportunity wave to the downside. So I keep an eye on um, some of those oil sector stocks, they're not looking very good at the moment. Um, may have some significant downside yet to come in them, so watch that close. So with that, everyone, the video is getting a little bit long. I want to wish you all a fantastic um, day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here, for listening, for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very, very best. We'll see you right back here bright and early. Morning. Have a good night, everyone.